So let's look at the following projectile motion example. Let's suppose that a stunt driver drives horizontally off a cliff 60 meters high. So the height of the cliff is 60 meters. So we set our initial position along the y-axis to be 60 and our final position along the y-axis is 0. How fast must he drive to land 120 meters away? So our initial position along the x-axis, x naught is 0 meters, and our final position along the x-axis is x equals 120 meters. What we want to find is our initial velocity along the x-axis. So how fast must the car drive off horizontally to make it from our zero mark to our 120 meter mark, 120 meters away from our 60 meter high cliff. So let's begin by finding what the time is or how long our car spends in the time given the above information. That time will help us find what this initial velocity along the x-axis is. So, in order to find the time, we have to use the following equation. So, our y final, which we set to be 0 meters, equals our y initial. So, we begin 60 meters above the ground. So, this is 60 plus. So, our initial velocity along the y-axis is 0 because we're driving off horizontally and not at an angle. So, that means our y component is 0. So this turns out to be 0 plus 1 half. So we choose the upper direction to be positive, the downward to be negative. So our acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared multiplied by time squared. So we basically rearrange the equation. So we get negative 60 divided by 0.5 times negative 9.8, so we get radical negative 60 divided by negative 4.9. The radical comes from the fact that in order to get t on one side, we have to take the radical of both sides. And so we get radical negative 60 divided by negative 4.9, the negatives cancel, and we approximate it to be 3.5 seconds. So our car spends approximately 3.5 seconds in the air. Now we can use this information to find our initial velocity of our car. In other words, how fast must our car be driving horizontally to make it across this distance of 120 meters if it begins at a distance of 60 meters above and knowing that it takes 3.5 seconds to crawl or uh, 3.5 seconds in the air to get from our cliff to the ground. So let's use the following equation. So this equation is identical to this equation except it deals with the x direction. So we know our x final is 120. We know our x initial is 0. We want to find what this initial velocity is along the x direction. We know what the time is and we know that our ax, our acceleration in the x direction is 0. So this is 0, this is 0 and we are left with 120 equals 3.5 multiplied by our unknown. So we divide both sides by 3.5 and we get approximately 34.3 meters per second. So in order for the car to get from our zero mark to the 120 meter mark, knowing that our cliff is 60 meters high and knowing that our time in the air is 3.5 seconds, our car must have a horizontal velocity of at least 3, uh, 34.3 meters per second.